I'm here to help. I have had lots of requests. Esther, how do I keep my silk flowers, my forever beautiful blooms, looking resplendent and clean, free of dust and as if brand new forever and ever? I am here to help. And if this looks like I'm about to bath the baby, let me just let you know that that's exactly the approach that we are going to take. We have nice white towels. Doesn't matter what color they are, as long as they're nice thick ones. We also have a little bath here, or a little wee container, and I have two things in front of me. The one that I want, I am going to use today, is good old fashioned Johnson's baby wash because that is what we are going to do in our approach to cleaning our flowers. Remember that they are like little babies. If you don't, can't, haven't got access to the baby wash or shampoo, you could also use a little light detergent. But I prefer the baby shampoo or the baby wash because it's gentle and I figure that if it's good enough for a baby, then it's good enough and gentle enough for washing my flowers. Right, get your towel out, take your flower and put just a couple of squirts of this into it. Oh, did I open this before I started? No, I didn't, which just makes me stupid, doesn't it? Oh, one moment. All right, I'm back. I almost need a degree, a degree or a PhD in physics to get the lid off. It's just a couple of little squirts into there. Make sure that this is lovely lukewarm water as if you were going to put your baby into it. So as much as you would put for the baby is as much as you're going to put into your flowers. Okay, let's look at our flowers. I'm going to use this dried feel hydrangea take it outside, give it a little bit of a tap, tap, tap to get rid of any dust that's on it, or use the bit that goes into your vacuum cleaner that actually blows out to blow any surplus dust. So I've got that flower. I've got this big, gorgeous Bertha Rose, which is another different type of texture and make to the dried feel hydrangea. I also have this beautiful big magnolia and that's got a, a different texture and feel to it as well. And then we've got, this is another one of our roses in the collection and this is the ones that feel like they're real. So each of these all have a different feel same technique. So put your baby shampoo or wash into your water, do the wee test, make sure that it's not too hot to burn the baby, just perfect. And then you will need a bucket of nice lukewarm clean water for us to do the lovely bit of dunk and rinse. To begin, very easy, dunkity, 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 don't shake the baby. Bring it out, give it a little wee shake. You don't want this too hot because don't forget that everything's been glued so you don't want to be melting that glue. Give that a little shake into the water, to get a couple of dunks to get rid of any dust or dirt. And I always love it when I've had them in the house for ages and ages and I look at the water and think, oh, cool, I'm pleased I did that. Put them onto the white towel to give them a little wee drain dry. Do exactly the same thing with that. Give it a shake, have a check to make sure that all dirt is out. Dunk it into there. And I'll just show you with this one here. This one you might have to actually get in there with your hand and just submerge it as if you were dunking the shampoo off the baby's head. Bring that up, check it. Whoops, shake off any excess and then put that into your dra to your clean water again. Bring it out, give it a wee shake. And what's lovely about these leaves too is it does not hurt the back of the leaves and nothing is coming out. So from there, the next thing to do is getting rid of all of this here, is to put them onto your towel like so and then get the other towel and gently squeeze, 
any excess water out of them. With this one here, I'm just going to do that and then turn that around and do that again. And if it gets a little bit dinty, dinty like that, doesn't matter. You just take that out of there, give it a wee shake and then leave them on a flat surface on top of a towel and let them dry naturally in the warmth of your room. If you've got a drying cupboard, you could put them into there and that will speed up the process. So there you have it, beautiful flowers forever in pristine condition. I hope that this has been of assistance and I look forward to seeing you again another day. Thank you.